What is up gamers? I'm John Jonah and this is Archaeology 201. Now if you have seen the complete guide for level 70 then you've already seen this video. Uh, the complete guide came out to be over one hour long so all I did was take each individual section and split it off into their own videos. This one is all about the relics that you can unlock by level 70. If you want a video that's a one-stop shop for all the content you can unlock by level 70, then see the link in the description below for the complete guide. Or if you're interested in some of the other unlockable content for level 70, you can find the links to their respective videos in the description below. I've also included the corresponding links to the RuneScape wiki, as you may find some useful information there as well, especially when you pair it with this video. One last thing I'd like to say, just as a thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel from my last video. As you know, I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers, and it's a huge help to me when you guys subscribe. It leads me to getting monetized by YouTube and ultimately gets me the funding I need to produce more videos in a timely fashion. So please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And with that, let's get started. By level 70, you should have exactly eight relics. Those are Font of Life at level five, Ring of Luck at level 24, Unexpected Diplomacy at level 25, Pouch Protector at level 36, Ring of Wealth at level 51, Berserker's Fury at level 56, Ring of Fortune at level 58, and Nexus Mod at level 68. If you're only missing a few of these relics, you can use the timestamps to skip ahead to the relic that you're interested in. For now, let's get started. The first relic, Font of Life, needs no explanation, as you will be obtaining this instantly following the archaeology tutorial. So we're going to skip ahead to the next one, which is the Ring of Luck at level 24. For this, you will need to visit the Infernal Source and head down to the Dungeon of Disorder. Here you will find the relic known as the Hand of Glory sitting right here on the altar. You just click it to pick it up. When you examine it, you will have this NPC magically contact you to tell you how the relic works. Essentially, you will need a Ring of Luck that you can purchase off the GE and combine it with the Hand of Glory. Once you do that, you will come back to the monolith and offer the relic. Next relic is the Unexpected Diplomacy. To obtain this relic, you will need to complete the Zerosian 1 collection offered by Soran. Once you do, he will give you the relic and you simply offer it to the monolith. Next one is going to be the Pouch Protector. This relic requires two pieces, an Abyssal Thread and a giant pouch. To obtain the Abyssal Thread, you will need to complete the Zamraconian number 1 collection offered by Isara. Once you complete this, she will reward you with the Abyssal Thread. Next, you will need to head to the Rune Crafting Guild atop the Wizard's Tower. You can just use your uh, Wicked Hood to get here. You just teleport. And you will need to talk to Wizard Korvac. Simply right-click and trade him and purchase the giant pouch for 50,000 GP. Once you do that, combine the Abyssal Thread and Giant Pouch and offer the relic to the Monolith. The next relic will be the Ring of Wealth, which will be obtained at Everlight. At the Amphitheater, you will come across the statue of Mesometis. You will first need to repair the statue, which will require 40 construction and 10 white marble, which can be collected at the Prodromoi Remains, located here, or the white marble cache, located here. Once you've repaired the statue, you will need to gather an Everlight Harp that you can collect from the Amphitheater Debris. Once you've gathered and restored the harp, you can add it to the statue. Once that is complete, you will now be able to reach inside and grab the Hand of Glory. This Hand of Glory will require a Ring of Wealth fully charged, so be sure to purchase it on the GE. Once you combine those two pieces, you can offer it to the Monolith. The next relic will be the Berserker's Fury, which is also a two-piece relic. This one consists of the Lock of Hair, 
and the Amulet of the Forsaken. In order to obtain the Lock of Hair, you will need to complete the Ceradominus No. 1 collection, offered by Sriracha. Once you have the Lock of Hair, obtain your Amulet of the Forsaken and combine the two pieces. During this time, the Amulet is extremely difficult to obtain. As you can see, I'm trying to purchase it for approximately 5 mil. I suspect it's worth about 10 at the moment. So at this point, you have one of three options. You can try and purchase it for as much as you can, or you can obtain it manually by playing the Barrows game slash boss. Or you can wait until the economy stabilizes, which I suspect will be a month to two months following the release of this skill. And then you should be able to obtain it rather normally. In either case, once you've combined the two pieces, you may offer the relic to the monolith. Next up is the Ring of Fortune relic. For this, you will require a fully restored Pontifex Signet Ring. And we're going to head to Caridet. On the first floor, make your way down to the chapel, pass through the Pontifex Barrier, and the Hand of Glory will be sitting on top of the altar. Simply collect it and head to the GE. At the GE, you will need to purchase a Ring of Fortune. Once you have your Ring of Fortune, combine the two pieces and offer it to the monolith. The final relic in this guide will be the Nexus mod. In order to obtain it, we will be heading down to the Infernal Source. At the Infernal Source, we will be visiting the third level, the Vestibule of Futility. If you still haven't unlocked this level, don't worry, I will be covering it in the Mysteries section. So once you do, make your way to the Northeast section and excavate the Shackroth remains until you obtain a Chaos Star. Once you do, restore the Chaos Star and head to either the Mylir province in Priftinus, located here, or very simply Demonheim using your Ring of Kinship. When you do, open the Dungeoneering Shop, scroll down to the bottom, and purchase a Chaotic Gatestone. Combine the two pieces and offer it to the Monolith. Now that's all the relics that you can earn for now. I will be leaving a link to the RuneScape Wiki Relics page in the description below. You can always refer to that page to help you keep track of what relics you currently have and which ones are next on your list. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope this video kind of helped you to some degree. If you enjoyed the video, I would ask once again, please consider subscribing to my channel as it'll really help me towards reaching my goal of a thousand subscribers. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below and be sure to stay tuned for the next video, which will focus on level 70 to 90 and achieving the professor qualification. Thanks again, guys. See you next time. Honey, I'm a perfect Ingrained in my head And I start to see